Hello, uh, thanks again for watching my video. Uh, my name is uh, Jamie, a uh, student from Cal University. At this time I'll be uh, explaining uh, about uh, how to use uh, VirtualBox and uh, what you can do with this software. Let me tell you a little bit about my uh, computer. My computer is a uh, dual core uh, with a 4 gig of RAM and my operating system is a Windows 7 uh, 32 bits. Let's go to uh, VirtualBox. So I'll show you what you can do with VirtualBox from creating your clients, your servers, and your network. Let me, let's go to VirtualBox. This is the uh, presentation of VirtualBox. Uh, as you can see, I have already set up one, two, three, four, five, six uh, virtual machines so virtual PCs three uh, virtual machines are servers these are uh, Windows 2008 64 bits are two servers and these three are clients so let's go uh, start it with the uh, Windows server uh, this is my domain actually they are already up I'm just gonna bring it up This is the domain. Um, I'm going to show you what I have in my domain. I have set up my DHCP, uh, DNS, uh, of course, the uh, Active uh, Directory role, uh, Group Policy, um, Share, and Storage Management. Let's go to uh, DHCP. Uh, what I have in DHCP. Uh, the DHCP, uh, I have set up the IP4. Uh, I have a scope, PC, PCC. Uh, the scope has a pool. The pool has a range of IPs set up for 10.0.2.20 up to 100. I have a range of IP to run uh, up to uh, 80 PCs. And also, I have an address list already clients running on the network. Uh, these are two clients, domain clients, um, domain PCs, and these two are server. This is my file server. This is my exchange server. They both have a reservation IP. This is a reservation IP, PCFS, and PCXEXS. And a little bit about scope options. So we have uh, the router, um, uh, the default gateway, as as you can see, this is the IP, the DNS server standard, this is the IP and the DNS domain name. The name of the domain, again, is corp.irusa.com. I don't have anything IP6, that's my next step. Let's go now, I'll show you uh, my DNS. This is the DNS, I have a forward lookup and a reverse lookup. Uh, this is my domain. These are the uh, domain client PCs. What it does is the uh, forward lookup uh, it's, uh, translate the host name to the IP address. As you can see, this is the uh, I'll be showing this computer later on. It's uh, this is the IP and uh, reverse lookup. The reverse lookup translate the IP address to uh, host name. So in my DNS uh, right now I have the forward lookup and the reverse lookup for my clients and servers and all the objects. Let's take a look at my Active Directory. This is the Active Directory. As I say, this is my domain name, corp.irusa.com. All the uh, containers, the building containers, computer containers, user containers, so I have my computer set up already. These are the clients again. These two are both server, Exchange Server 2007, and this is my um, file server. And I have a, a list of user already created in my Active Directory. These are the domain user. Uh, this is something interesting. I have a user made up um, for an uh, enterprise administrator. This is IT tech users. I'm going to show you a little bit about his profile. 
this is the profile of IT Tech and uh, the login and also email address and so on. Alright, so this is the Active Directory and now we will go to uh, Group Policy. A group Policy, uh, I have a little setup for my user only. I change the user, it's just like a Disable um, password expiration uh, limitation and complexity things like that. So again, this is my uh, domain name corp.irusa.com and domain. If you look at this, I have a really uh, in my uh, system. I have a forest. Yes, I have a forest because I have a domain and uh, I have another server which is a part of the domain. Um, so this is my um, group of policies so you can set up for your computer for your user and uh, objects in the active directory and this is another role that i have running in this server is uh, share and storage management this is a really interesting feature for the clients so in my network I have the ability that all the users can save their files in their specific uh, personal folder. For example, this user has uh, their own file. So they can have access also from any computer and from any uh, site in the network. This is what we call the share and storage management. And uh, the, yeah, they use the U drive. It's called the U drive. Now I'm gonna go to the show you just to show you. I'm gonna bring it up my next server. The next ser the other server is see, my file server. It's this one. This is the file server. Uh, it's also Windows 2008, uh, 64 bits, um, R2. I have all my tools, administrative tools, and so on. So what is I have in this server? I have my printer and uh, printer server. Mm, this is the printer server for the network. I have one printer set up. As you can see, you can just add your printers and configure for the network. Um, the next uh, role is the DFS. I am running DFS in this uh, network. The DFS, uh, it's uh, it's the uh, the uh, distribution file system, and um, it's uh, pointing to corpusa.com. Um, what it does uh, is uh, you can deploy folders, uh, documents in this uh, folders, and can be available for any for user from anywhere in the uh, in the network. Uh, let's go back to um, the first screen and we have here my also my storage management this is the storage management uh, which is hosted uh, in, the, in my domain probably I don't have anything to show you here I don't have anything to show no objects in my uh, storage but anyway you can deploy the folders and files in this uh, uh, storage. Uh, what is uh, we have in here? Uh, this is my Active Directory. Uh, if you see this Active Directory, it's pretty much what you have in this domain computer. They're both synchronized and uh, they have the same object, the same uh, containers. So that's interesting about uh, about the uh, network and the domain uh, network. These are the same user, same user, same computer, same computer. So we are talking about two different uh, servers, domain servers, server, and this is my server part of the domain member. All right, so I'm gonna bring my client just to show you how my network works. I'm gonna go to my client. It's already up. Just let me log in. Uh, just to let you know here I have a client uh, username is I and the password and I have the ability to log into 
um, domain or local profile but just to show you I'm gonna log into a domain my domain name is corp so this is the client I'm gonna show you on what's the client name it's a Resacra and what I have in here it's uh, I have a shared drive what I have in shared drive I have one folder and uh, I I mentioned it before about the U drive this is your U drive for the domain clients these are the files actually are not being stored in a, in a local computer but is being stored in the server that's interesting about uh, shared storage uh, so this is my client just to show you I'm gonna go uh, to my run command and show you uh, my IP address uh, this is the IP address uh, list by this client 10.0.2.20 subnet mask and the default gateway just to show you a little bit more about the IP config I have uh, the host name is PC and uh, prim primary suffix and the domain and I have also well, this is the IP and subnet mask default gateway and DHCP server and DNS server so which is uh, being uh, running in the server or is incorporated or part of this domain alright just let me uh, ping do a little bit talking to my network so you can see if really responding um, it's corp erusa alright my server is responding so it's replying so it means my client is talking to the server so it's in the network alright so uh, this is uh, another uh, interesting thing you can do in your network do your own setup your own network and uh, put in practice whatever you're learning in theory that's what I'm doing so uh, I just wanna sh I wanted to share with you with everybody I hope you can uh, I hope you enjoy watching this video um, and just uh, oh, and another thing before I finish is I have also my exchange running in the network this is the exchange I, I can send and receive email in my network but that's the next step probably is gonna be out in the next video alright thank you uh, for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it and uh, uh, also I hope you can make your own network Thank you and uh, goodbye.